In a previous video, we looked at the chi-squared test, and we've already done a chi-squared test, and we've got all these values from my calculator. But I want to look a little bit more about exactly how you get this number 5.5 without just using a calculator, and also how the observed and the expected table link together. Now, if we go back into statistics, and we went to do our test, and we went to chi-test, and we went to two-way, it asked us to fill in the matrix A, which we did, and it said that it was going to put the expected value in matrix B, but we didn't really look at that too much. If I come out of here and go into the run menu and I look at the matrices, it, I entered these values from the table in a previous video. But what I didn't do is I didn't enter B. But if I look at B, it's worked out these values they're not the same as these it's a different matrix and these are the expected this is what i would expect to happen if they're independent Let's just come out of here i've now got my observed and my expected and i'll get my calculator again just to show you those and they're both in this, this thing here in the menu so that was in the run menu and the matrix now, although your calculator can get all these values for you, you also need to know how you can actually work them out without doing the test. And also, it's good background knowledge to know how this chi-squared test statistic that we had here comes about. So, how do we do that without a calculator? I'm going to get a calculator on the screen anyway. But how do we do that without a calculator? Well, from the observed data, we've got this 150 here, and this 280 here, and the 600 here. And to get this value here of 70, what I do is I do 150. So I'm taking that one and multiply it by 280. And then we divide the whole thing by 600, and you will get 70, which is in there not a problem now i can you can or i or you can work out some more so let's work out this 112 how do we get 112 well it's this one here so we're going to take 210 for that that one and 320 and we're going to work divide it all by the grand total which is 600 and we get 112 and you can take check that on your calculator now, a little bit of extra background. How do I get this chi-squared test statistic? The one that came out as 5.5, we calculated it all for me, but you might want to know how to do it. So what you do is you take the observed, observed, take away the expected. So we're going to take 60 here, take away 70 here. So let's just take a different colour for this. 60 and 70. You do 60, take away 70, which gives me 10, or negative 10 rather. You square it, and then you divide it by 70. Now, I can get my calculator to do that, and I'm going to carry on for each one. So I do that one and that one. 110, take away 112. The difference is 2. I square it, so I get 4, and I divide it by 112. Now, if I keep doing that for all of the rows, all of the, the cells rather, so this one take away this one gives me 12, square it, 144, divide it by 98. If I keep doing that, that will give me my chi-squared statistic. So you may, in very extreme circumstances, be asked to work this out. You will almost definitely be asked to explain how we get a number like 70 in the expected um, table or how we fill in some of these in the expected table without using a calculate or without using the test function from a calculator.